will go a long way toward defining this era at Superfly. And Andre Ward, as the fight begins, I come back to that three of his only losses. Estrada's been waiting to prove that he's not just among the best, but that two of those losses came in his first two professional fights. We talk about being filled. Hard left hand by Sora Misa. A win against Chocolatito. There was a feeling heading into the fight that Chocolatito may have been a shot fighter. Or may have been dominant at 108 and 112. Good straight right from Estrada. Right. That Chocolatito made a statement. It was a, he's a scary kind of fight anyway. Good, quick, left hand. He's uh, no nonsense like you said, and he's going to make you a... Estrada's a veteran. He knows. I have to acknowledge what Sorum Visai does well so I can prepare physically, but also so Sorum Visai is a more powerful guy. He knows about the big left hand. Take a few rounds to start really cooking. And Sorum Visai is between rounds one and two. Estrada said to the people in his corner, this guy actually really feels. And when a fight... Francisco Estrada and the black with gold. So far, Estrada, who came in body destroyer. It really is. An, uh, there are some interesting copy box statistics regarding Sora and Visa. In terms of numbers doing, he's not over committing, leaving himself open for the big shots of Sora and Visa, even though he got hit with a few punching in range. He'll turn a left hook over. It. At this moment in this round, I'm not certain that by the end of the round, Gonna want to be his drop. I agree. I think so. And, and Saw so Rumpusai didn't get him as often. But Saw so Rumpusai had a good round in the first. Strat is up two to one. Hey, this is the same as in the last fight. We've got a very close fight. Intelligent judges with great backgrounds, as he has in previous fights, and it's working. He's landing three and a half body last seven fights coming in. So that's a big change to which Sora Visai is going to have to adjust. Sora Visai is fighting like he knows he has the power now that he wants to take as the fight progresses and he's been doing that all fight i think but soren visai no doubt Ten seconds to go in round number four big round visai comes on lands a hard left hand lands another hard left hand and takes one shot slowly but surely and rules it not a knockdown crowd doesn't like it he would love for Estrada to get a knockdown point at some point. Soren Visai, home run hitter facing a fastball pitcher. The harder it comes in, the faster it goes out. Opportunities. And you can tell that that's Estrada's game plan. Like he wants. Yeah, I'd pay big money to have those guys. <laughs> Good straight left hand. To <laughs> hard left hand shot upstairs. Wow. Even if you're taking a puncher's punches well. That they're gonna fill, fill, fill them in the latter part of the fight. Good Hard fight left right. hands by both fighters. Absolutely. Boy, there have been some real good shots upstairs exchanged for Kedjil 12. The power puncher. Here's Soren. Good right hand body shots by Soren Gisa. That good little that disrupts the strata without looking for the knockout on that shot. Even though. If Estrada wants to have success against a puncher like this, get mid-range and in close. Estrada has a great super fly. They weighed in under 115 pounds, but tonight in Rio is a skilled boxing featherweight. He said he just outboxed Estrada for about a 30-second stretch in the box. middle of the ring. Yeah. In fact, we're about to go sir. a little something different. Estrada into leading at times and actually being the counterpuncher. One, two. Soren Visai took the half step back. Estrada led to a quick one two. With Marco Antonio Barrera. And Soren Visai is showing a. How, when you refine the technique of a guy with this much power, becomes a very difficult proposition. Andre, he hasn't committed any great sins that I can see, and yet he seems to be losing. He hasn't been knocked down. I'm sure he's been buzzed several times. People would have paid attention when he had three.
three losses and a draw in his first five fight. A uh, controversial decision over Chocolatito. Oh. And Andre, to your point, seems to be getting a little closer with the range. And beating Soar on the B side of the punch. It's from the trainer between rounds. Estrada has paid attention. It's the difference, and it's coming just in time. Still is. getting closer. Yes. Still is. First round, he's won in a while. And he's going to try to win the fight. Oh. Big shot from Soar on the B side. Taking well from it. Puncher also has the advantage in terms of scoring. Because when judges don't give him the same kind of credit as when the puncher is back one or once or twice, even if he's been out punched. And then what happens? That's what Estrada's finding out this round. Short body shot from Estrada right there. Counter right and left hook. Real good round from Estrada. Compared to want a guy like Estrada. Dangerous. There's no doubt that Estrada has to be alert for this whole fight. I Estrada has to keep closing the distance. Barra Morales fights. One guy landed, oh. the other guy was desperate. Island agreements that you have to make with yourself from round to round that nobody else isn't worth it. What if he lands and I get knocked out cold? You gotta find and summon the strength and the wherewithal to get your... Just that, because th just then over the last 30 seconds... Okay. I like that. You know, he was the harder hitter, and, and Juan Francisco Estrada wanted to trade with him in the middle of the round. So, anyway, it's getting a little bit close. Rounds to three. Swiss gets so run beside And I guess, Max, what you would say is that you belong beside for a couple of straight left hands, hands to the body. And now goes back upstairs of the fight. They're back into the situation where Estrada is in that middle range distance. He's nuts. His eyes are puffy. When he gets hit, his head is rattling a little bit more. Oh, big right hand. Huge right hand, hand by Soron Bisai in the 10th him. round, giving him the round. Probably. Could have easily, I mean, I thought Soron Bisai probably won that round anyway. Yeah, it was a big shot, too. Whether he had or not, and he's been able to exploit this throughout the fight. Tonight, good shot from Soron Bisai. Down the middle. The highest level of toughness in boxing, because it requires not only playing to the crowd, and that's really the toughest kind of fighter, Andre. You were example for a while in the sport. Well, those are the guys that you see last a long time in the sport. Hard left hand by Soren Bisai. Another combination from Soren Bisai. Strata, I think, is going to have to come up with something dramatic here. Rounds one. And Harold has him with seven. Good right hand. But that was set up from two good shots to the body. Both, uh, at both your scorecard, Max, Good and right hand. scorecard are unofficial. And Soren Bisai goes back in. Seeking to get on 15 pounds. If either fighter has the edge, it would probably be the more powerful Soren Bisai, who has been firing sledgehammer to come down the stretch. Soron Visai as the guy in the lead because of his big power. If you just look at their, the more effective punches. This is a close fight. Hard right hand by Estrada. Soron Visai feels the need to answer. Soron Visai landing there. Estrada firing again with the right hand. Looking for one more big shot. Crowd both fighters selling out in the center of the ring. Tremendous action. He's hanging right there with him. Yeah, well, he's hanging there and he's landing big bombs, but he's the worst for the wear this round. I agree with that. And neither fighter does a lot of talking in the beginning, you know, before the fight. But when they get in the ring, they... 20 more seconds. That's round 12. They go Estrada. Give everything they've got in the closing three minutes of this round. Unbelievable. Estrada did a lot in that... And still, WBC Super Flyweight Champion of the World, Sri Sake. So